Step number one to going viral on YouTube Shorts is you need to make sure that you're hitting the right watch time metrics. Watch time is one of the most important factors that YouTube takes into consideration when they're gonna determine whether or not they should be pushing out your shorts. In addition to that, you need to understand watch time is gonna play a role. The topic you choose is gonna play a role. Your click-through rate is going to play a role, but all these things are gonna change drastically based on one, where your actual content is getting placement and the topic that you're choosing to create. Because at the end of the day, if you're not keeping people on YouTube, YouTube is not going to suggest your content to other creators for them to be able to view. And if that doesn't happen, your YouTube shorts are never gonna go viral and your account is not gonna grow. Now you're probably wondering at this point, Rob, but what can I do? What kind of tactical changes can I actually implement into my shorts content to make them go viral? And we're about to get right into that. Three of the most important things that every single one of you watching this video right now needs to reconsider when you're posting on YouTube Shorts is one, the title of your video. Secondly, the hook of your video. Third, the rehook of your video and a couple other secrets that I'm gonna share with you later on in this video. Most shorts that people create are gonna be 25 to 40 seconds long because those are the best lengths right now, generally speaking, on YouTube Shorts in order to get a ton of views on your content. Now, you need to make sure that your hook is on point. Now remember, this means the actual hook in your video, the rehook that you have in your video and the title of your video. Your title can actually play a huge role in whether or not somebody watches your video all the way through to the end. Again, depending on where the placement is. For example, Tuvok12, I literally just helped him gain over a million subscribers on YouTube. You heard that right, a million subscribers on YouTube in, wait for it, just seven days. The way that he was able to do that was he produced this video right here. It got over 60 million views and went on to him getting over 600 million views in the week because he had a catalog of content that then people went and rediscovered and YouTube began to suggest to other people. But that's neither here nor there. What he did correctly in this video is the hook of the video which came one in the video and then two in the title. The title of this video is the last one broke the basket rating strangers basketball shots. The reason that this video went viral is because the watch time was absolutely amazing. The reason that the watch time was absolutely amazing because people that clicked on that video did it with the intention of waiting for the last thing. This is genius and you need to implement this into your content. People that clicked on this video had the intention, the full intention, the second that they clicked on the video to watch it all the way through the end to see the last person break the basket. That's the type of change that you need to implement in every single title that you create on YouTube Shorts. And this can be recreated for every single niche, no matter what niche you're in. And you need to implement this if you wanna go viral. And a very underutilized hack that you need to implement into your YouTube short strategy right now is implementing polls into your YouTube content. So many creators are not doing this. So many creators are doing this wrong. If you're watching this video right now, I'm going to guess that you're one of those scenarios. Either first, you're not creating polls at all, or secondly, you're using them the wrong way. When you create a poll, you shouldn't be doing it every single day. You should do it once or twice a week right before you're about to drop an amazing video. I'm talking 24 hours before. And you want to make sure that the poll is something very broad and something that people are going to have a very black or white response to. It's got to be something along the lines of, do you like tacos or sushi? Or is sushi or tacos better? Or is steak or chicken better? Another example that I think might actually do amazing is, do you put pineapples on pizza and have it be yes or no? Now, this is going to get a ton of people to engage. And then what YouTube thinks is that these people like your content since they engage with your poll and that's going to allow YouTube to then suggest your content in the future on the suggested feed, on the shorts bar, on the shorts feed, and even in search to people that interacted with that poll. This is one of the most underutilized hacks that you guys need to be implementing when it comes to the YouTube ecosystem if you want to go viral on YouTube shorts. Because remember, if nobody clicks on the video, nobody views the video. So please spend a ton of time on the actual title that you're putting on your video and the thumbnail. In addition to that, you need to make sure that you're paying attention to the hook and the rehook. Now the hook that you use can be done in several different ways, right? One, it could be done with text on the screen. Two, it could be done with the sound. Third, it could be done with the camera angle, or it could just be done with what you're actually showing in the video. And then when it comes to rehooking the user in, you need to do a couple things. One of the easiest ways to rehook people in on YouTube Shorts is to add subtitles or add animated text to every sound or everything that is going on in the video. In addition to that, you need to make sure that you're adding emojis into both your title and the rehooks in your video. This is gonna do two things. First, it increases the amount of people that click on your content if you do YouTube shorts and have an emoji in the title. Secondly, when you rehook people and add an emoji in, you're going to be basically telling them what kind of feeling they should be feeling. What you need to realize, the majority of people on YouTube that are viewing shorts right now, and again, this will change. The same thing happened on Instagram, the same thing happened on TikTok, and those platforms evolved. The same thing is happening happening on YouTube Shorts right now. You need to realize, most people that are seeing YouTube Shorts are people that have the YouTube app. Most people that have the YouTube app are under the age of 24, and a lot of those people communicate via text message, and a lot of those people communicate via emojis. So you need to insert emojis in there because their brain already knows, oh, when I see the embarrassed face emoji, it's gonna be something embarrassing, or gonna be something shocking. Or when I see the double eyes emoji, it's gonna be something that's gonna make me wanna do that with my eyes, or it's gonna make me feel a certain way. You guys need to tap into this cultural movement that is happening on YouTube Shorts if you want to go viral. 
Now, before I share with you exactly how much watch time you need to hit on your next YouTube Shorts in order to go viral, I do want to make sure that you smash that subscribe button. If you want to grow on YouTube, on Instagram, on TikTok in 2022, you need to make sure you smash that subscribe button. I put out a video every single day, seven days a week, and I respond to every single comment I get on my YouTube videos, every single DM that I get on Instagram, and every single text message that I get right here. So please, if you have a question about any of those, please hit me up. I cannot wait to help you grow. Another great example of a creator that did a great job creating a video is going to be Reese is Random. He's another client and he has gained over 50,000 subscribers on YouTube from scratch. And the way that he's been doing that is with YouTube Shorts. Recently, he uploaded this video right here that ironically got over 420,000 views. Now, the reason that this content did so well compared to some of the other videos that he's uploaded is because the title and the actual video invoke curiosity. The title of the video is the reason that ADHD people hate chairs. Now, if you don't have ADHD or you have ADHD, you're going to click on that video and say, hey, why do they hate chairs? And then he does an absolutely amazing job with this skid and makes it super relatable and there's a huge payoff at the end and that's exactly why that video went viral. Now you guys need to take this into consideration no matter what topic that you're choosing to create on YouTube Shorts and that brings me to my next point which is the topic that you're choosing. You need to understand something. YouTube is not trying to find viewers for your videos. YouTube is trying to find videos for the audience that they already have and the number one predictor of whether or not somebody is in the audience for a piece of content on YouTube is their past watch history. In fact, their most recent watch history. So please make sure you're staying very much in tap with what is trying trending in your niche on YouTube Shorts, and this is gonna allow you to create content around that. You also need to take into consideration, most YouTube Shorts do not go viral in the first 24 hours that they're uploaded. In fact, the majority of the views that you're gonna get on YouTube in general are going to come after the first 24 hours that the video is uploaded, and this is exactly why you need to make sure that you're changing your title and changing your thumbnail if it didn't work. You need to do something that's more enticing. You need to do something that taps into a topic more, or you need to change it based on a video that somebody else uploaded. For example, YouTube content lives forever. If Logan Paul goes and uploads a video or Jake Paul or David Dobrik or whoever, if they upload a video and that is along the lines of something that you created a short about a month ago, that video then has the potential to go viral if it hit the right amount of watch time and the title and the thumbnail get people to click and it's ultimately something that YouTube thinks that that audience is going to be interested in. Now this brings me to a point that I feel like I need to make because it's something that I've actually struggled with myself. Do not compare yourself to people that are not in your niche. I shouldn't compare my views to Logan Paul or David Dobrik because I'm not in their niche. You guys need to realize something. There are different size audiences for different types of content on YouTube. Somebody might be creating entertaining content. That content typically has a much larger audience. Educational content has a smaller audience. So please take that into consideration. Don't be creating real estate content or affiliate marketing content and compare yourself to me or compare yourself to somebody that's making vlogs because I'm telling you it is just not the same and this is going to trap you mentally. It's going to prevent you from being creative and honestly it's going to lead to burnout and you ultimately not being successful on YouTube. When it comes to the amount of watch time that you should be aiming for on your videos, you need to be aiming for 80%, no matter what length your video is on YouTube Shorts, aim for 80% watch time. If you hit 80% watch time, no matter how long your video is, your post is going to go viral on YouTube Shorts, given that YouTube has an audience for the piece of content that you created. Now, please take this into consideration that you need to be rehooking people. You need to be changing the clip every three to five seconds. This is what a YouTube audience expects, especially a YouTube audience under the age of 24. You need to realize these are the most ADHD people out there. They need constant action. They need constant constant things going on. If you're just gonna be a talking head and sit there and talk for 60 seconds, even if the topic is popular, the video is not gonna do well. You need to be changing the clip every three to five seconds. You need to make sure that there are animations. You need to make sure that you're adding a trending sound into your YouTube shorts. And ultimately, you need to make sure that you're keeping the viewer for at least 80%. Now to recap this video, if you wanna go viral on YouTube shorts, you need to take the following into consideration. One, the title of your content. Two, how long it's actually gonna to take to go viral. Remember, it's probably not gonna happen in the first 24 hours. Third, the topic of your content. Fourth, the hook that's actually in the video and how many times you're rehooking that person. And again, you need to make sure that you're adding trending music into your shorts. This is going to make a huge difference in whether or not your content is going to get pushed out. Now, I just dropped a video about how the YouTube Shorts algorithm works and it mentions a ton of things that you will not find in this video. If that sounds interesting to you, please click right here and check it out. Otherwise, I really strongly suggest you to smash that subscribe button and get ready for my next YouTube Shorts video. It's coming out in just a couple days.